The crossbow ornithopter was made with a removable gearbox, originally so the same gearbox could be used in different ornithopters. But what will happen if we replace the conventional gearbox with two servos to flap the wings? Hi, I'm Nathan Cronister, and welcome to the Ornithopter Zone. There are many advantages to using servos to move the wings in an ornithopter, but there has always been this question, can you get the same performance as a conventional drive? The modular design of the crossbow gives us the opportunity to compare these two different mechanisms in the same ornithopter. The conventional flapping mechanism has an electric motor that always runs in the same direction. There is some gear reduction, and this turns a crank that moves the wings up and down. You can only control the speed of the flapping. The servo, likewise, has an electric motor and gear reduction. There is no crank, and the flapping motion is produced by reversing the motor. You can control the speed and angle of the flapping. You can control the exact position of the wings. When I first started to build servo-driven ornithopters, I would build them very light on the assumption that the servos wouldn't have a lot of power or they would be really slow so you would need more wing area. The crossbow is not super light. It has a fiberglass body. It has two big steering servos in the tail. I could have taken those out, but I decided not to. So both versions would be the same weight. With the conventional drive, you need to figure out the right motor and gear ratio. Similarly, when using servos, you need to find one that is right for the particular ornithopter. I started with HiTech D940TW servos. This is a fast servo. It's not brushless though. I used a Cutie Pie microcontroller from Adafruit to control the servos. Had to modify it a little bit. And this is the wiring setup for the ornithopter. Let's connect the power and do a little glide test. The ornithopter can fly with this servo, but after a short flight, the servos were hot. So I went up to the HSB9370TH brushless servo. This one has a brushless motor and it's geared down more, both of which address the heating concern, but it was just geared down too much. The wings weren't moving fast enough. But they do make a much faster brushless servo, the HSB9360TH. This is just what it needed. Lots of power. It has a lot more power. It doesn't get too hot and the performance is now really about the same as the conventional gearbox. Here's some shallow flapping. This is a nice way to come in for a landing. And now watch this. That's way too much, but let's see what happens. Woo! Alright, that was crazy. It was a lot of fun to compare servos with the conventional drive mechanism but there are other completely different ways you can flap the wings in an ornithopter. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can come back and see some of the new ideas that I'm going to share with you in the next couple of videos.